everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is going to be a baby haul. I can't believe I haven't done one of these yet throughout my entire pregnancy. Um, but I really didn't think we had got him that much stuff because he has so much from Archie clothes and bits and pieces that he needs. But we've been very kindly sent some things from some beautiful brands um, and friends and obviously bought some stuff as well and it's accumulated over the months. So I wanted to share it with you, so that's what I'm going to do today, I'm going to get straight into it, but before I do, I don't know if you've spotted, there is a cot over there, which is so exciting, we've finally set it up, I will show you it in a bit more detail, um, perhaps in this video if it's not too long, or definitely in a vlog or pregnancy update very soon, um, but yeah, it's all there already, and it feels very real now, and very exciting. The first thing I wanted to show you is this lovely little pram blanket, which I picked up at TK Maxx. It's pal blue, like a minty blue, with elephants, and it's by the brand Rockabye Baby, in case you can find it anywhere else. But I got it in the sale for £12, and it's really, really soft. So I'm, I have got quite a few blankets. I'm not sure why I have so many, but I, oh, I do love a good pram blanket. I also have this one. Um, I think this is the one my nan and granddad got. Um, and I believe it was from Sainsbury's, but that might be wrong. I don't know the price of it, but it's got um, a grey background and white sheep with a mint trim. And I really, really love this one. Um, so in a way that, you know, they're quite similar. And I also do have this one. I didn't realise I'd bought so many similar ones or had so many similar ones. This is a little soft elephant one. I have no idea where I've got this from or the price or anything so I'm really sorry about that but I just obviously if I see a blanket with an elephant on it I obviously just buy it but I really love these colours grey and white are sort of themes that you will see quite a lot in this video and a bit of mint and things so um, yeah I have some pram blankets I was going to show you a few bits that I got from Amazon okay so these I originally saw on the lovely Ashes YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel was called Mama Read. I will link her below because I love her videos and her two babies are literally adorable. They're so cute. So um, she showed this in a newborn or like a baby haul or a newborn haul, something like that. And I can't think what they're even called, but they're like literally like little baby pockets <laughs> um, with a hood. And they just kind of go in there like I wouldn't put them in this for sleeping or leaving them alone in or anything like that but for taking out in the pram I think it's something that's really nice that you could lay in there first and then if it's obviously a cold day pop them in and then they have a little hood as well and yeah they're really lovely so they're all knitted and I got a grey one and I also got a cream one which is exactly the same but I haven't buttoned up yet because the only thing about these is um the ones I got anyway, the buttonholes are so small that it takes a lot of strength to get this huge button in it. So I think once they're all done up, I won't be like undoing them, like covering the baby up, doing them back up, but you can just kind of like pop them in anyway. Um, so I'm not too worried about it, but I just think for colder days, because the baby is due in May, but like today for example is not very nice and babies need to be kept warm um yeah i think these are lovely so i will link everything below but i'll link these below as well so you can hopefully find them they do have other colors as well also from amazon i picked up a baby wrap or baby sling this is by the brand Cuddlebug, and it comes in this little case obviously i haven't opened it yet and if i open it now it'll just be like a piece of material um, and i'm not exactly sure how to use them yet so i won't get it out but um, it's exactly this colour and this material. It's really, really soft. Um, and I've just been really interested in baby wearing. I didn't really do that with Archie. But now that I have a toddler and I'm going to have a newborn, I think it'll be really handy. The baby can be close to me or Ricky if he wants to wear it. Um, and I still have hands free to play with Archie or hold his hand if we're walking. And yeah, it's just something I really want to try. So if you have any experience of it, then let me know how you find it. But I'm excited to try that one. Um, and I was also really kindly sent this one. It arrived yesterday. And it's by the brand um, Fornessi. Which I've seen a lot of on Instagram. So I was really, really pleased when they got in touch with me. This is the Carry Me by Fornessi. It's made in the UK. And it comes in this lovely cotton bag. Um, and they do some beautiful colours. And again, they are baby slings, baby wraps. 
So I decided to go for this mint green. I kind of wish I'd gone for their pink one because it's so pretty and I wear pink a lot, but this probably sounds ridiculous, but I, was, I felt like a bit mean putting a little boy in a pink sling, which is stupid because it, it shouldn't matter because I guess it's like I'm wearing it. It's not something I'm dressing him in and it, gender specifics and all of that. I shouldn't really be even worrying about it, but I went for the mint in the end. Um, they do some beautiful colors. They're so, so, so soft. I would love to be wrapped in that all day long and just carried around and sleep. That would be bliss. So, um, yeah, this is definitely a brand worth checking out. It's a beautiful UK um, small like small business. So, um, yeah, go and check them out if you can. They've got some beautiful pictures on their Instagram as well. So I cannot wait to put my little one in this. Okay, next I have some white noise toys. Yeah, you may remember if you've ever watched any of my previous baby hacks videos or newborn must-haves, anything like that, that white noise is something I really recommend and it worked wonders to get Archie to sleep. But I always used to play it on my phone, which is fine, but I'm now I'm a little bit like, oh, I don't really want to put the phone near the new baby. Um, and also I need access to my phone to work, which I learned from last time. And the phone can ring and wake your baby up. There's loads of things. So anyway, I won't be doing that this time. I have a few little friends like this to help me out. This is you and the dream sheep. And he was about when Archie was born, but we just never got one. Um, anyway, he has little sounds and you press his feet. He has lullabies. He has, I don't even know if you can hear this on the camera, that's like a rain sound. He has womb sounds. Can you hear that? And he also has white noise, um, which is basically like a Hoover vacuum cleaner, um, a hair dryer, that kind of sound. So he is adorable and he used to have a purple face well he still does but now you can get them with the little gray the little gray sheep which i love um and it also has a towel which has velcro so you can attach it to things um love this and they also very kindly sent us the um you and snuggle so this doesn't have any sound or music in it it's just a really soft little snuggly toy with knotted feet um, and this can hook on to things like a pram and stuff as well and I just love them so I'm so excited to see how these work out and what he makes of them people have recommended this to me so many times um, and we were also sent, which I'm really excited about Little Whisper, he, how cute is he for a start? it comes with different coloured paws um, this is a turquoise one and I'll show you this thing in a minute but you basically can hook it over your baby's cot or Moses basket or crib um, and you can put it like quite far away from your baby so that it's as safe as possible um, and it has magnetic feet to hook on to different things and I haven't got the batteries in him just yet but he also plays white noise and the great thing about this one is that you can set it so that the sound of your baby crying starts the white noise playing so you know you don't even have to get up and put white noise on for them it kind of knows which I think is really really clever um, and I'm so yeah I'm so excited to try this and it's good for them to play with as well because the legs have the bright colours and the kind of sensory black and white um, pattern and they're crinkly so it's really good for um, sensory development. Archie is obsessed with this, he wants his own one, he's never wanted a soft toy in his life but <laughs> he wants this and he's named him Clappy. So yeah this is our little Clappy Whisper. <laughs> Next I wanted to show you these little hats, you might have seen them in my Instagram stories about a week or so back. My lovely blogger friend Amanda actually hand made them, hand crocheted or knitted, like I literally don't even know that's how bad I am at things like this for him. After I tweeted that I want like little hats with woodland creature ears and things um, because I just think they're adorable. So that was so lovely of her. She actually has an Etsy little baby business called Blue Bunny Boutique UK I think, I will link it below if you want to check it out, um, where she does make things like this for you to buy. And this is a newborn size and this is a 0 to 3 month size. And I just, I'm so, like, so grateful that she took the time to make these for him. Um, so thank you very, very much Amanda, that's really, really sweet of you and I cannot wait to see him in these. Literally my heart could burst with how excited I am to see him wearing them. Next up is um, something that we were sent very kindly from the brand Maury. 
they do the most beautiful soft organic cotton baby and toddler sort of pyjamas and loungewear and things like that. Um, it's a really beautiful brand. I love the packaging that it comes in, first of all. They sent like a little yoga suit. It's kind of like pyjamas for Archie, which he's already worn loads. Um, and it's in some of my Instagram photos if you want to check it out. I will show you it at some point properly. But they sent this for the baby. Look how cute this is. I think it's... I think it's 0-3, yeah, this is a 0-3 one in little stripes. And the thing I love most about this, apart from the fact that it's the softest thing I've ever felt in my life and I want one to wear because, oh my goodness, it's so soft. It has a zip. So you will know if you've already got babies or had babies that poppers are okay, but especially baby grows with no buttons and you have to kind of like shimmy them into it. They're the most frustrating, annoying thing. So at three o'clock in the morning, you can just zip them in and they're in a new sleep suit, which is literally a godsend. So I'm, I just would definitely recommend them. They also have the built-in mitts. I'll show you this next, because you're probably like, what is that huge thing? So we have the crib, which is the snooze pod, which I, I will show you in a second. Um, but we kind of needed something for downstairs as well, because obviously the baby's going to be with us a lot of the time, and a lot of the time obviously in the day we'll be downstairs this is the mobber which is a moses basket but it's in plastic um and it has a waffle weave kind of lining so if you can hear my toddler going crazy i think he's playing with his dad has a waffle weave lining and then the mattress which i still haven't sort of unpacked yet um but the thing I like about this instead of a tra traditional Moses basket is it's really lightweight, you can move it around the house with you, um, it's breathable, it's really easy to wash and keep clean. Um, I just think it's really cool and really inventive. So this, yeah, this is the mobber and you can get it in a range of colours. I have loads of colours but I went for the grey with the white waffle weave. Um, we also do need to pick up a stand and mattress a sheet <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for and I think they they're available on their website I know that but I think they also are in stock in John Lewis so we need to do that just so it can stand obviously off of the floor but yeah it's just so handy to have and carry around um, even if the baby's in it or whatever but I'm, I'm really excited about that I never I didn't know about this brand with Archie so they might be new since I had him um, but I just think it's really cool and inventive so I'm glad that we have one of those I was also recently sent some products by Kit and Kin which is Emma Bunton's new mum and baby range which I was really intrigued by so they've sent some stuff for baby which obviously I can't really review right now because we haven't used it but it looks beautiful. I love the packaging of it. This is the bubble bath for baby. It's hypoallergenic, natural, pH balanced, and dermatologist tested. Um, and I don't actually know what the scent of it is. It's a very, very light, clean scent. It's definitely not like over perfumed or anything like that. But it is a really nice, like soft scent I like that a lot and then they have the body oil for baby which again everything's hypoallergenic so that's really cute and the thing I was most excited about trying is the magic salve so this is a blend of naturally nourished oils and botanical extracts this creamy salve moisturizes calms and protects we'll let you know what I think about them a little in a little bit more detail once I've actually had the chance to try them and I know they do have a mum range as well for like a stretch mark cream or oil again i will link them below i think it's a really cool interesting new brand um, and i'm excited to try more of those next up i have this organic bedding set which is by the little green sheep and they are the company that make the snooze pod this is in the i think it's the woodland collection or the wild cotton collection um, they have two different colours, they have the grey with bears and leaves and I think they have a mint green with bunnies on which is beautiful as well so they do all the cot bedding, they do um, little blankets and they also do like the little baby sleeping bags as well so these are beautiful, I won't get them all out of the box now but in this you get uh, two cotton fitted sheets 
and the blanket in this one so yeah they're gonna look beautiful on the snooze pod which I'll show you now I'm really excited about it because I've never had a cove sleeper before with Archie we had a crib it was next to the bed but it obviously wasn't the same so I will take the camera off the tripod and show you that now this is the snooze pod it's nearly all set up but we don't have it attached to the bed yet so you can have it freestanding and it also rocks when it's freestanding but not when it's attached to the bed um, and you can also take this top part off um, and it becomes like a bassinet that you can use around the house if you want to you can also buy these little pockets which go on the side um, to just store things in like nappies and creams and wipes um, just to make it easier for you in the middle of the night also comes with a little shelf under there as well to just store extra things on like spare pyjamas and things and baby vests and baby grows and stuff um, and then this is the mattress which um, comes with it and then you can get extras like this is the mattress protector which they recommend to have and obviously makes life a lot easier and you wouldn't have to keep buying new mattresses and this is also one of their bedding sets I think it's called Cloud9 and it comes with the sheets and the blankets, so that's really, really lovely as well. I'm out of breath, that's so bad, isn't it? And basically, I'll just try and quickly show you this part zips down. So obviously I have all of the pillows and stuff and the bed made at the moment, but you can just kind of fold this under and it becomes a co-sleeper, which makes it really easy to feed your baby in the night, um, be close to them, um, have like a really good bond with them um, but they're not in your bed so they have their own little sleeping area and they are just that little bit away from you but also right next to you as well um, and you can see them through the mesh part so it's just really lovely to have and um, yeah it comes in all different colours obviously we went for the white everything in this room's white um, and I love it so I can't wait to see what it's like again a lot of people have um, recommended it to me so that's everything I wanted to share with you today. I was going to include clothes, but this video is already so long and I've got this beautiful box of um, unisex baby clothes from Zara, which I cannot wait to show you, but I think I'm just going to do a quick little separate baby haul. So if you're interested in that, that will be up really soon. Um, and also I have loads of other baby content planned, obviously. It's a lot on my mind at the moment and I know lots of you have requested baby related videos. Um, I've got more stuff that I want to show you but it fits more into a newborn must haves video. So I'm going to be doing that really soon. So yeah, thank you very much for watching everyone and I will be back with another video very soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.